The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In Kupiansk direction, the enemy with two battalions reinforced by foreign mercenaries made an attempt to attack in the direction of Yagodnoye, Nikolaevka, Orlanka of the Kharkov region and Kuzemovka of Lugansk People's Republic. The enemy was driven back to initial positions by fire and actions of Russian troops. Up to 150 Ukrainian personnel and mercenaries, six tanks, five infantry fighting vehicles and ten vehicles were eliminated. In Krasny Liman direction, Russian troops employed long-range artillery, ground attack and dummy aircraft to fire on the enemy at distant approaches. The Ukrainian armed forces attempts to attack in the direction of Makeevka, Ploshanka and Popovka of Lugansk People's Republic were foiled. As a result, about 250 Ukrainian personnel were neutralized, as well as two tanks, two infantry fighting vehicles, five pickup trucks and two motor vehicles. In Nikolaev Krivorok direction, the Russian troops impeded the Ukrainian attempts to break through in the directions of Ischenka, Bruskinskoye, Suhanovo and Petikatke of Kherson region. The enemy has been driven back to initial positions by fire and decisive actions of Russian troops. There were 105 Ukrainian servicemen neutralized, two tanks, nine armored combat vehicles and seven motor vehicles destroyed. The Ukrainian radar station for guidance and target designation of the S-300 anti-aircraft missile system was also destroyed. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops and artillery have neutralized the command post of the 15th Regiment of the National Guard of Ukraine in the area of Kirovsk of the Donetsk People's Republic, as well as 73 artillery units in firing positions, manpower and military equipment in 169 areas. During the counter-battery fight, a platoon of the Uragan MLRS of the Ukrainian armed forces was eliminated in the area of Mali Prokhody in Kharkov region. An ammunition depot near the village of Yelizavetovka in Donetsk People's Republic was also destroyed, as was an oil terminal for Ukrainian military equipment near the village of Smela in Cherkassy region. Fighter aircraft has shot down one MiG-29 airplane of the Ukrainian Air Force near Pasika in Kharkov region. Over the past day, 12 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were shot down by air defense systems in the settlements of Snigirovka of Nikolaev region, Ishchenka, Verovka and Obrivka in Kherson region, Oborotnovka and Viktorovka in Lugansk People's Republic, Orlanka, Vladimirovka and Grakovo in Kharkov region, as well as Polnoye in Donetsk People's Republic. During the day, 24 projectiles were shot down in the air, including 14 HIMARS rockets in the areas of Antonovka and Novaya Kohovka of Kherson region, as well as 10 Olha and Uragan rockets in the areas of Makeevka of Donetsk People's Republic and Chernobyevka in Kherson region. In addition, two American HARM anti-radiation missiles were eliminated near Antonovka of Kherson region. In total, 330 airplanes and 167 helicopters, 2,414 unmanned aerial vehicles, 384 air defense missile systems, 6,270 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 881 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 3,544 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 6,967 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Kyiv regime continues its provocations aimed at creating a possible technological disaster at the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. During the day, artillery of the armed forces of Ukraine have fired nine shells at the industrial zone of the thermal power plant, at the industrial zone of the thermal power plant of the city of Energodar and the territory adjacent to the nuclear power plant. The shooting was carried out from the Ukrainian-controlled areas of the settlements of Margonets and Chervona-Grigorovka in Dnepropetrovsk region. The hostile firepower has been neutralized by Russian artillery's counter-attack. The radiation environment at the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant remains normal.